Hello, it's Friday the 23rd of December 2016. It's the eve before Christmas Eve. So it's Christmas Eve Eve, isn't it? As you can see, today we're television personality. Not a television personality. You're not on the television. You're I am television on, personality. You're not a television personality. You're not on any television, national or international or provincial television set. Television personality, Chris Redden here once again with your daily chit chat. As you can see, we're not Full in rubbish. We're not in our purpose built television studio today, boys a and girls. bedroom in we, his house. We are. You know, the jealousy that comes out of you is not unbelievable. Jealous, it's truth. It really you is. You should not lie to those poor people out there. There are no lies. There All are no lies. Can you watch? Them. Can you or can you not watch me on your television? Only if you stream it from YouTube. So you can actually YouTube. watch me on your television. Yeah, but can't that's you? because it's streamed Therefore, from YouTube. Therefore, I am you are television a personality. YouTuber. Thank a you. you YouTuber. You I bet I win BBC Television Personality of the Year. No, you're not. A, that's you what I am. Do you know what you BBC do for BBC? BBC One. Colour. Good just, morning pay the license fee and even that's debatable because I've seen the letters coming through your door from the bailiffs. I beg your pardon I always pay my TV license there. I'm going to have to move our television camera here that's it's not a television camera that's it's better. a phone we, we should have started it there look it's a phone that's so much better now don't worry about that little spot on your nose it's not it's where tell I have them to what it a, is tell them what it is I have a special thing on my face to help me now, breathe at night can we have gentle braking today so that my camera doesn't television it's not camera a camera shoots it's forward. a mobile telephone and it's not even the latest one it's not even like this iphone 7 plus top of the range brandon that one is a uh iphone antique iphone antique same thing as a television camera anyway. not really so as you can see we're not in our purpose-built television studios today Spare bedroom. we are mobile this is an outside but oh you're over there this is an outside broadcast today isn't it lovely it is calling from my outside broadcast. luxury, now, my luxury BMW vehicle. Now you are concerned, so I'm going to put people right here, because I'm like that. I'm a kind person, kind and nice and loving, right? You are concerned that people are going to think you've got a massive, great carbuncle on your nose. Would you like to tell them what it is, lovely? It's not a great carbuncle. It's just where I have to wear a special mask that helps me breathe. <sighs> I pumped oxygen into my lungs so I don't die when I sleep. <sighs> What happens is that he stops breathing when he's sleeping. Unfortunately, once he's awake, he starts again. So that is why he's sitting here today. But he's got to wear this mask. And what does it do? Pumps oxygen into my lungs. That blows in all the time. Is it like having a hairdryer no. in your mouth on permanently? No, it's not. It's a special machine that draws oxygen from the air, goes through a special thing, in through the machine, up into the mask, and there's pressure between 4.5 and 9 bars and when I start to decrease my breathing the bars go up and the pressure goes up and it pushes more oxygen into my lungs I think people found that very very interesting yeah very very interesting I also suffer with sleep paralysis and what's that it's like watching one of your shows it's like you're barely awake and but you can't move and you, you want to breathe but you can't and the show goes off, and you snap back in, you start breathing. You make it sound like my shows would send people to sleep. Well, generally they do. That's why people don't watch them in the cars. I find that very difficult to believe, lovey. Do you? Yes, I do. I'm a bit tired today, because I can get in till four o'clock in the morning. We shouldn't but be out cruising till, in the streets all night. Open till three o'clock last night, dear. I was so tired. And once again, we had a drag queen on last night, and she was telling, what I thought were funny jokes, some of them sick, but I find the sick jokes very funny. You know, the sick and the funnier. But these young people just don't get it. I'm offended, I'm offended, I'm well, offended. That's what they're saying, aren't they? What saying, is all that about? They're saying like 2000, 2080, uh, the time to have fun. 2090, a new era. Two, the, the year 2000, wonderful. Uh, the year 2010, um, Time Hang on to get minute. out of Europe. Wait. Uh, no, wait, wait. You said 2080. We haven't got to that yet, dear. No, Do you right. mean 1980? Oh, oh, 1980. Oh, thank you. Your advance, no apology. Your no apology, apology there has is no been accepted apology. in advance. There is no for that apology. Error. There that is no error. apology. Error. It was a small error. 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 
Error. Um, error. And then error. they got to 2016. Apology accepted. The no apology. The year. The year to be offended. 2017. The year to grow up and get over it. Yes. Sticks and stones. It's never. Ridiculous. Never. Never damage. Never damage my face. That. Dam yes. What? I mean, you know. I'm offended. You know, I'm get offended. Over yourselves. I'm offended. I'm offended. So the latest thing is these students. Now I don't know what you would call them. They call them the gay stapio. The gay stapio. They've taken down the gay what? Gay stapio. What's like that? that German Gestapo. Gay stapio. Yeah. Oh. Like that's what they're calling themselves. Well, I'm really but, offended by that because the Gestapo was the ones that gassed thousands and thousands, millions. Well, hang on a minute. Millions hang of on Jews. A so they've now taken down. These students in a college, possibly King's College, I might have that wrong. It's one of the colleges in London or university, uni. So impo very important people go to university. They've now taken down a picture or a statue of some cardinal who disagreed with gay marriage. Now he wasn't anti-gay or anti, uh, didn't dislike gay people, but he just didn't agree with it. So he took down his statue. So you're not allowed an opinion. You're not allowed an opinion. So this is the thing. So they have their opinion. Why can't he have his? Mm -hmm. And besides, what is that tiny little thing? That one. Um, uh, that, that statue what, what or that, you, no, that, that, that object? That one thing that he's that he was concerned with. What's that called? Out of everything that he's concerned with, that one that thing. One how does that, that that one thought? How does that affect everything else that he's done? Oh, it's ridiculous. It is ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous. You know, everyone either has an opinion or everyone doesn't. You can't do that and it's just madness, it really is. Well, you're, you're the same, you think that just because you have an opinion, you're right all the time. I am right all but the time. But you're not. You know that I'm right you're all the time. You're not right all the time. I've got a spot it. here, look, can you see it? Could you squeeze that for me, darling? No, I will not. You sure that's not something that's crawled out from somewhere else? It, that, it, oh, you know what it might have been? Because I was in France. You know they hear those stories, don't they? Like right? people go abroad and like while they're asleep, an insect burrows into their skin. That's in places like Borneo where I've Well, been. I've just been to France. That's foreign. No, it's An insect. Tropical. While I was in the New York Hotel in Disney, it is possible that an insect has crawled into my forehead, no, burrowed under actually, the skin, that's probably true, laid actually. eggs. In the ho in and the that's what that is. In the hotels that you stay in. Look. In the type of hotels that you've stayed in. It's an egg sack. An egg sack. The type of hotels Excuse that me, you stay in. That's a four star. That's Nothing wrong with the hotels. That's debatable. I think, you know what Disney needs around their resorts? Disney caravan sites. No. That's what it is, with caravans in the shape of Disney Mickey Mouse. So the ears, that would be like two bedrooms, and then the face would be like the living room, and they could have them flat like that. So if you was to look at them from a helicopter, Not then a lot you of people would... fly by helicopter. I do. We're taking, a, we're taking a helicopter when we go to New York from the airport to the hotel. He's going to New York. He's never been to New York. Surprise. Oh, you'll be. Do you remember Suko? Suko. Suko, yes, Suko. She, she used to. Um, I haven't spoken to her for ages and ages. She would love to see you if mm. you wanted to visit her. That would be nice. She would love to visit you, yeah. Take her for a cup of tea somewhere. No, she can take me for a cup of tea, tea somewhere. She knows about You take her for a cup of tea, you tight fisted bastard. She, uh, language on your show. Blah, blah, we blah, don't blah, use blah. language like that. Can't use language like that on my show. Oh, look, late Christmas shoppers. What's she got? Morphe Richards. That was a bin. Was it a bin? She's bought it's a bin, a, for, a bought somebody. A bin for someone's present. How awful. Yeah. Anyway, um, that's it from our mobile uh, television studio today. We must now go back to our main purpose-built television studio now the for bedroom. today's birthdays. Say goodbye. Bye and once from again, the car. Once again, your apology no is accepted. Apology. Your apology no is accepted. No apology. No, no, no thank apology. Thank you, thank you. No thank apologies. You. No apologies Television whatsoever. personality, Chris Reardon. Thank you very much. Here we are back in our television studio, boys and girls. Just before the uh, birthday, a couple of messages from yesterday's show. Danny Davis, from Welsh Wales, but now in Manchester, says, did you hear that John Lewis was on the BBC Watchdog last night, not sticking to the prize promise of being cheaper than elsewhere on the same product? Naughty John... Oh, that must have been a mistake, Danny, dear. 
John Lewis wouldn't do something like that. You are mistaken. Either you've heard the wrong name, which I think is very likely. We probably are your oh you've had a car of drinks. Oh, let's watch Watch Dogs to Die. Oh, oh did I say John Lewis? I think I think that's the most likely thing of this. Or or Watchdog made a mistake. That's quite possible. You know, or there might have been one single incident where John Lewis possibly, possibly made a mistake. I'm fine. I think you're delving into the realms of fantasy there, Danny. I really am, darling. You go and reach over, reach over and have another little drink, especially for John Lewis. All right, my darling. Happy Christmas to you, Danny. All right. Um, Simon says, I have trust. We talked about trust yesterday. I have trust issues with everyone, but there are a lot of people who are, and you can't judge everyone by somebody else's standards. Yeah, that's true enough. There's lots of honest, trustworthy people yourself. Thank you very much. I'm a very trustworthy person. I am, actually. I was, The amount of mobile phones and wallets that I'm given to look after in an evening, I never take a wallet from a stranger or, or a mobile phone comes to that. Because you don't, they could come back to you and say, that's not my wallet, and you know it was. You know, I wouldn't do that. From people I know, though, I always look after um, coats and wallets and things like that. Um, so there we are. Uh, hello to Simon Marcus Gelling. What a long name, dear. I always know you as Marcus, dear. He says, oh, dear me, dear. Is that Barry Manilow you're showing off in the background? Yes, of course, dear. Barry there and Barry here on the calendar, which is a little bit... The, the kind of light is reflecting on that, and um, we're not getting a very good picture of Barry there, are we? But there we are. That, there's two Barry pictures behind me. He says, I know you might like some of his tracks, as they date from our teenage years. How long ago was that? I know. But really, do you want everyone to see it all the time? Absolutely. Of course we do, Simon, dear. We must have Barry in full view at all times. He's even got his own TV station, thank you. Manilow TV which you can subscribe to. Very reasonable. It's about $10 a month or something like that. And you get to see all his old contests. What a stupid thing to say. Of course we want to see, let people see Barry's face all the time. Yes, thank you. He says, some picture, pictures of your exes would be fantastic. Indeed, you could cover up all that hideous wallpaper. What hideous wallpaper? These are little Union Jacks, dear. Why is that hideous? Why are you finding my little Union Jacks hideous? You're not going to say it's racist, are you? I'm just waiting for that one, dear. These are not racist. This is the United Kingdom's flag. Thank you. And I will fly it proudly for all to see, dear. Especially you. Thank you. Pictures of the exes. Well, I haven't been out with many people. Are you talking about exes longer than sort of a couple of hours? Is it? But if you're talking anything short X's, you know, sort of, you know, a couple of hours, there that's, that's, would be quite a few of those up there. I think, you know, possibly a larger room and not just one wall. <laughs> Thank you very much. Kiki D says, I can't forget the impression of the car wash. Very funny. I'm glad you enjoyed it. I'm glad you enjoyed that, Kiki D. I like the Susan Boyle one too. Someone says recently I look like Susan Boyle. Mind you, it was after I said that he looked like John Pertry from Wurzel Gummidge. He did, and she loved him. There's another carol coming up. Don't worry, Keedy. I fixed John Pertry's telephone once. Yes, when I was working for British Telecom. I didn't actually meet him. But he had a lovely house just off Putney Heath. Oh, beautiful house. Sadly, no longer with us. And that was my favourite Doctor Who, that was. Yes, John Pertry. Thank you very much. Let's do today's birthdays and then we'll do a Christmas carol. Happy birthday this morning to singing sensation Philip Aaron. Happy birthday, sir. Uh, Charles, Chaz Doyle. Chaz is 37 today. He's the one that comes to the karaoke and he's got these muscles like this. Muscles. Oh, my God, ladies, you want to see those muscles, dear? Happy birthday, Chaz. Happy birthday to Anne Lineker, to Glenn Logie, who's 31 today, and to Jeannie D, who holds the, um, holds the trophy for the oldest person today, 73 today, Jeannie D who's uh, also a uh, part-time DJ as well. So happy birthday, Jenny. Here comes the song, my darlings. We'll have a little Christmas carol downstairs after this, OK? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Philip Chires and Glenn and Jeannie. Happy birthday to you. 
Have a lovely day for your birthday, boys and girls. Okay, downstairs now for this morning's or today's Christmas Carol. And today's Christmas Carol, I know you'll know this one. You get three verses of this is Silent Night. Here we go. <laughs> Christmas Carol, silent night for you tonight, boys and girls. All right, it's Friday night, so I'll be hosting the last karaoke before Christmas tonight. Yes, it's karaoke Friday, every single Friday, at Central Station in Wharfdale Road, King's Cross. Join us from 8.30 right the way through until midnight. Enjoy your Friday. Bye-bye.